I think we have to recognise New Zealand has a, uh, you know, a, a, a very important trading relationship with China. Um, so I welcome the opportunity to visit China. It's been something that obviously we've been looking forward to being able to do um, since the global pandemic. Um, it was very difficult for us to have that high level of engagement. Um, I think that they'll be looking to continue to strengthen the relationship with New Zealand. Uh, obviously, um, they have... Uh, they have also experienced, I guess, isolation um, in the way that we have as a result of COVID-19. And so the opportunity for us to both, both countries to come together again in person uh, after three years where that's been very difficult, I think they will also um, be looking forward to that. Obviously, a focus on trade is, is the centrepiece of the, of the purpose of the trip. We want to make sure that we're providing opportunities for our New Zealand exporters to continue to you know, uh, gain additional access within the Chinese market. Um, that's, a, that's a key thrust of the trip, and if you look at the broad cross-representation of our export community, including some of our new and more emerging areas like digital technology, for example, um, healthcare, uh, and then of course our primary producers, there is always opportunities for us to continue to grow our market. Now, New Zealand has a, a range of important trade relationships. Of course, as a government, we're focused on market diversification for our exporters. And you see that in the UK Free Trade Agreement, the European Union Free Trade Agreement. Um, but we also have to continue to strengthen our relationship with China as well. We've got to recognise that since our free trade agreement with China was signed, I think our exports have grown from something like $8 billion to, about, to over $40 billion. It's, a, it's been a huge growth market for us, and that means that a trade delegation to China is very important.